two magnificent athletic ruckmen up against each other in the middle. And it's Heppel that sends the Bombers forward. And it's well tracked to by Melson. Job's back. Job Watson is back. Watson again over the top. Gets the handball going. Meyer around the body. Out in front of Hearn, who's been a great player for the Eagles. They want to get him back as far as they can, the Bombers. Hocking gets it out. Meyer with okay, a left that bending it back. They've had two in two minutes, if you don't mind. Zaharagas, he misses the target too. Marston comes back for the Eagles, but a blind kick should be controlled. Oh, oh they fight amongst themselves. Bagley left there. Fortunately, Bagley stayed down. Bomber not happy. He had was two, lined up at the half forward. two loose options in the middle. And now Hibbert got himself oh, in trouble and rushes. Yes. Now Marston the opportunity. Can he hit up the hard lead? He can. 33 goals this year. Played one of his best last week. Second time for the season. And he managed to kick four goals. So Darling from outside 50. Looks like a good strike. Only a matter of distance. It's there. I might be thinking I might be able to outrun them as the game progresses on into the deep stage. Another turnover. Oh, yeah, sorry, and another turnover. So Josh Kennedy just one behind so far. He's kicked 46 goals for the season. Goes back and delivers a mighty blow. As a forward, they need one forward of size to come and demand the footy be kicked to him. Chapman doing his best. Gets to the wing crown full of valor and courage takes the mark. And he's having a night out, is Mitch Brown. Oh, Until that oh moment. yes, he's giving you away. Well, a dream night become a nightmare in the space of one kick. And suddenly Stanton kicks the goal and the Bombers are back in it. Chips it high. Kennedy, and from the other side, good pressure from Hurley. Sheed through to Kennedy, looking for another or a pass off. Dean Cox strolls in. Probably made it a bit harder than it needed to be. But it's a goal nonetheless. Bunger? Oh, Bunger it was. Bunger, Ed. close to you, Jason. Rue was all over him. <laughs> yeah. Now, Hibbert going hard oh, back with it. Oh, crash one way. The only thing he didn't do was get the footy. Lost his footing, regained it. You can see he, he always fashions like he wants the corridor. And he's almost tempted. Here's Sheed. Ironic for Bomber fans if someone called Sheed is doing damage against them, against the West Coast Eagles. And that's a nice kick for Darling. I'll never admit it, Sheed, but I think he was looking for Shuey with that kick. Yeah, I agree with that. 56% <laughs> by foot, the Bombers in this quarter, compared to 74%. And on the scoreboard, the damage is getting greater and greater by the second. This has the hallmarks of a, uh, I won't say a big, you know, 10-goal win. This could be a 100-pointer. Well, Hocking. Hocking held his spot. As Jay said, Dempsey over the top. Chapman was there. They uh, won to it. Chapman gets the ball back from Howlett. Now the long kick forward. Chance here for the Bombers. Window look open. Goal. Why would, been you play Why would you play Why on? Why would you play on? That is just dumb footy. Bomber puts up the open palm and says why as well. He can't believe it. Great tackle. Over the top of a dead darling. Flicks it out. Good player. Here's the dangerous Hearn again. Look at the kick. Just in short of in front of Kennedy. Didn't quite get there in that occasion, but it spills out. Here's another goal coming up for Cripps. Two in a couple of minutes, and the Eagles are playing this game wide open. Taken by Hocking, lets the traffic pass. That'll open things up. Danaher arrives in a flash. McKenzie offhand. This time Windley. Has he been involved in a goal? Got uh, Gee, they're doing it hard. Ambrose kicks it through at last. And they're still in it. Into the centre corner they go. Hooker. Handball's off to Myers. Myers going to go long and strong to the goal square he goes. Here's the setup. Windelick at the back. Can he get a clean on it? He does. Windelick gets the goal. He's got lie set deep. Natanui will be a threat if he can go all the way to full forward. I don't think he's quite got that on the leg. Let's have a look. Natanui's got a run. He's got a jump and mark it. Oh, oh Nick Natanui. Nothing but Nick Natanui there. Back to the wing again, indiscriminate kick. Schofield just waited till he was in the right way, but it doesn't turn out the way he planned. Dempsey, here's Windelick again. Great late close from McKenzie under all sorts of pressure. Dempsey charging through. Get out the scars, Bomber fans. You're still coming. Windelick's kicked his third. 
Hawking being resilient. Drives them to half forward. Mitch Brown well placed, but Ambrose drifted back. Here's Brown with Hearn and Chapman, the last man standing. Myers, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Zaharakis, they've got there. They're in front. Mayhem at any hand. Now it's Prittis' chance, but there's no one up forward for the Eagles. They have to run it, and they do through Schofield. Schofield looks up and kicks. It goes out wide. Hill gets out, takes the mark. Two minutes and eight seconds on the clock. Hill's kicked 143 goals in his career. None as important as this one. From 52, he lines it up, he kicks. It's not going to make it there. It's just died on its trajectory, and it's a point. One minute to go for the Eagles to make it in the eight and to put the Bombers out or for the Bombers to stay there. What a week it's been for the Essendon Football Club. Hill's got it again. 50 seconds, free kick against Hill from the back. That is big. Has to go. There's still time. Was this in the back? Oh, oh. no. Oh. Essendon fans mainly are counting down the clock. Two, one. They're in the eight. What an extraordinary move.